There's some neat deltas you can find in the post game, like a Plusle and Minin with Quiver Dance and Baton Pass, and an Amora that is fantastic on Sun Teams. Let's check them out. Once you complete the Tube Challenge, you'll obtain a Delta Golette, which you should be able to evolve right away. Delta Golurk has an impressive attack stat with OK Bolt. 89 HP is pretty good, and 80 in both physical and special defense is alright. It is extremely slow, but at least that makes it great on Trick Room teams. Fighting Steel has a lot of resistances, including a quad resistance to Stealth Rock and an immunity to Toxic. It only has three weaknesses, but they're all fairly common, especially ground. I don't think Delta Golurk is bulky enough to survive an earthquake. Besides, you're much better off making it a wall breaker since it has the Iron Fist ability. Drain Punch, Mock Punch, Bullet Punch, Hammer Arm, Focus Punch, Thunder, Fire, and Ice Punch are all great moves that are boosted by Iron Fist. Guts is also a fantastic ability. Just give it a Flame Orb and you'll be doing even more damage. Both are nice abilities. I would personally go with Iron Fist because of the sheer amount of moves that are boosted. Some other noteworthy moves include Bulk Up, Earthquake, Brick Break, Stone Edge, Rock Slide, Poison Jab, Iron Head, Knock Off, and Superpower. Delta Golurk is a good hard hitter with some unfortunate common weaknesses and a pitiful speed stat. It's not as threatening as Delta Type Lotion and Delta Haxorus, but it's still better than a lot of the other Steel Type Deltas. If you catch a Plusle and a Minin, you can trade them for their Delta counterparts at the Battle Frontier. Both unfortunately have an extremely low base stat total. Delta Plusle attempts to focus on special attack, while Delta Minin attempts to focus on special defense. On the upside, both have Pixelate as a hidden ability, and they learn Hyper Voice by Move Tutor. They also learn Quiver Dance, which is an amazing boosting move, and they can even baton pass those boosts to other teammates. Psychic and Energy Ball will be the only coverage moves that they get. Delta Plusle is Fire Fairy, while Delta Minin is Ice Fairy. Fire Fairy is definitely the better typing because it has more resistances. While Delta Minin's weaknesses may be less common, one of them is a quad weakness to steal, and its resistances are awful. These two are only useful for the gimmick of Quiver Dance and Baton Pass, but even then, there are much better Deltas to use that have higher stats. Throughout the game, you'll find Mysterious Scrolls. There are eight of these, and they require completing a puzzle to obtain. These puzzles are tricky, but thankfully someone made a guide on how to solve them. I'll link it in the description. Once you get all of the scrolls, you'll unlock Relic Song, and with it, you can get Delta Dug Trio at Talnor Cave. Well, it's pre anyway, but you can evolve it immediately, so it doesn't matter. Delta Dug Trio is fast, and well, that's it. AD Attack is alright, but nothing too great. Ice Normal is an awful type combo. One resistance, one immunity, and four weaknesses. One of them being a quad weakness. It doesn't help that Delta Dug Trio is extremely frail. Seriously, you could sneeze on this thing and it would faint. That's why it has Fur Coat. This ability halves damage taken from physical moves. Still doesn't help it that much since your opponents are going to have crazy life orb and choice band strategies. Well, at least it gets stab extreme speed, but Delta Arcanine gets that too, and has way better stats. Shadow Claw, Earthquake, and Sucker Punch are decent to have. It's a shame, because Delta Dug Trio is cute. It just doesn't have the stats or typing to be useful. Now that you have access to the Holland region, you can soar around to encounter Delta Whale Merc. Delta Waylord is a mixed attacker with a massive HP stat. Unfortunately, it's extremely slow and frail, and its typing doesn't help either. It has better resistances than Delta Dug Trio, but having a quad weakness to Stealth Rock is just awful. If you're gonna use this Delta, find a way to remove hazards. At least it has two good abilities. Snow Warning is great for a hill team, and Refrigerate is just plain fun. The moves it can use with Refrigerate are Body Slam, Return, Achilles Heel, Hyper Voice, and my personal favorite, Self Destruct. Self -destruct. Freeze Dry, Wild Charge, U Turn, Acrobatics, Surf, and Aqua Tail are all nice move options. Blizzard is great if you have Snow Warning. You can even use Delta Waylord on rain teams because it gets Hurricane and Thunder. Delta Waylord has potential with good abilities and moves, but its typing and awkward stats ruin said potential. While soaring through Holland, you'll find an isolated location known as Lost Pond. There, you'll find Delta Amora. To evolve it, make sure your clock is set to daytime, because that's how it becomes Delta Aurorus at level 39. This Delta also has high HP, but actually sorta has the bulk to back it up. Plus, its typing is much better. It only has three weaknesses, and having a quad resistance to water is super useful. Delta Aurorus has a new hidden ability, Phototroph. This has it restore 1 16th of its HP, but the effect is doubled in sunlight. Combine this with leftovers, and you'll be healing a good chunk of HP each time. Delta Aurorus has even more healing options to work with. 
Giga Drain, Aqua Ring, Recover, and Synthesis. The best stab moves it gets are Hydro Pump, Solar Beam, Energy Ball, and Surf. Earth Power and Ice Beam are the only coverage moves it gets, but they cover its weaknesses, so that's not a bad thing. Calm Mind is a reliable boosting move, and Soak can potentially stop opposing fire types. Delta Aurora shines best on Sun Teams. Outside of those, it's decent. I highly recommend going with Phototroph instead of Friend Guard if you want to see the best of its abilities. Delta Ditto is... interesting. It's got Protean as an ability with different forms to match what type it is. It can hold Metal Powder or Quick Powder to boost defense or speed. And it's got two new moves. Retrograde reverts Mega Pokemon back into their base form. And Morph. Where Delta Ditto says it's morphin time, then he morphs all over the place. I'm just kidding. It turns into the Delta counterpart of a Pokemon if it exists. But honestly, Delta Ditto should only be used for breeding with other Deltas because of its horrible stats. Now that we've gone over those Deltas, we'll be tackling the new Megas you can only find in the post game on the next video. And then after that, we have a whole new region full of Deltas. Thanks for watching. Bye bye.